Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Melissa and today's video is going to be all about what I got my kids for Christmas. If you guys did not know, I have five daughters. They are two, six, nine, eleven, and fifteen. I had to think about that for a minute. Uh, we just had a few birthdays. <laughs> And this video is actually going to be specifically geared for my younger kids. Um, I thought if I did it all together for all five in one video, it would be very, very long. So this video is going to be 10 and under, and the next video I do is going to be for teens and tweens 10 and older. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel and you hit that bell notification so that you get notified as soon as that new video comes out. I'm so excited to be doing this video as a collaboration with a very good friend of mine, Micah Stoffer. And she, you might already know her, has an amazing channel here on YouTube, a mom channel where she does videos just like this. She's actually doing a What I Got My Kids For Christmas video for her part of the collaboration that I'm gonna link down below that you're definitely gonna wanna check out. And they also have a family vlog just like we do. We met at a YouTube event about two years ago now and we became like instant friends. Our husbands became friends. Um, we love their family, wish they live closer. They live in Columbus, um, Ohio, and we're in California, so we don't get to see each other as often as we would like. But I know that you guys are going to absolutely love her content if you don't already follow her. So definitely check that out and check out her link to her video down in the description box below. Something else that we're doing as part of this amazing collab is that we're gifting a $500 Amazon gift card to one of our followers. So all you have to do to enter is click the link at the very top of the description box below and it will have all the details to enter. It is free, it'll only take a few seconds and I want you guys to come back here and leave a comment down below telling me what you would spend the $500 gift card on if you won. So the first kiddo we're gonna be talking about in this video is my two-year-old Gemma. And Gemma, as you guys know if you've watched any of our vlogs, is actually very, very advanced for her age. She um, knows all of her colors and numbers and has the vocabulary of like a second grader. Uh, so you might see that some of these toys that we're getting for her are a little bit advanced, um, but just know that they're like totally the best fit for her. Typically what we do at Christmas is we'll get our kids the same value in presents, um, and typically it's like 10 to 15 gifts per kid, um, and we'll spend around $300 per child. I know every family's budget can be totally different, um, but this is just what's worked for us in the last 10 years. Um, some years we do a little bit more, some years we'll do a little bit less, but this year's budget was about $300 per kid, and I do shop um, throughout the year. I shop sales. Um, I, I, you know, I'm always looking for a good deal on stuff that I know my kids are going to like. So all of this stuff actually, most of it was actually probably purchased three to, in the last three to six months. Um, not this week. We did do a shopping trip this last week, but, um, we've been accumulating things for a while for Christmas. And I, I tend to do that because it helps with the budget a lot at the holidays. Um, it helps, it helps to spread it out a little bit. If you guys want me to do a separate video about, holiday budgeting and how we do things, let me know down in the comments below uh, because that's something that I've thought about doing. So if enough of you are interested in seeing that, I will definitely do that. So for all of our kids, in addition to the presents that I'm gonna show you today, they do get a stocking as well with a bunch of little things in there. I try to stay away from a lot of candy, but it does have some candy. I will be doing a separate video on what I put in my kids' stockings sometime in the next few weeks. Um, so in addition to that, presents, stockings, then this year what we decided to do is actually as a family gift, we're going to be taking a trip somewhere. And we're still trying to decide where that trip's going to be, but we are in the planning stages of that and that is going to be kind of like the big gift for the whole family. So the first present that we got little Gemma was actually, it's on the floor, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> it is a touch and learn activity desk uh, from VTech and as you guys can see I actually got this is on sale I don't know where the tag is there's a little discount tag on here this was from one of my bargain shopping trips that I went on a couple months ago and I want to say it was 50% off so I got this for only $27 um, there's also really good prices on this on Amazon I'm going to be linking as many of the items as I can 
um, especially and there's some more buying on Amazon I'm gonna be linking them all down in the description box below so if you're interested in checking that out definitely go down there um, but this is I'm so excited about this for her this is basically a learning desk a chalkboard and an art station all in one and I know that she's gonna love it so this is her like probably gonna be her like Santa gift this is her bigger gift the next thing that we got for Gemma is this Play-Doh set. This is actually from Costco, but again, I think they sell sets like this at um, Target and also on Amazon and probably Walmart as well. Gemma and Gretchen both really love Play-Doh, um, and they I tend to get them one of these like once a year for their Christmas or their birthday, and it's always a really big hit. So this is gonna be for Gemma. It's um, the food, it like makes all like hamburgers and hot dogs and all that kind of stuff so I know she's gonna love it and we also got her some refill pla packs <laughs> plaques I got her some refill packs of play-doh to go along with this something else that Gemma has been really into these days has been animals and babies so we actually are getting her quite a few things that go along with that theme because she's just been obsessed with like taking care of her little stuffies and baby dolls and everything and she actually borrowed one of Gretchen's babies and has been like taking care of it um, in the playroom and stuff. So we decided to get her her very own. This is actually a water baby. This is actually another one that I got at a toy sale at Target. Um, so this was only $7. Um, she is going to love this. It actually, I guess, is like a gender reveal one. So like it has a little cake and tells you if it's a boy or girl, which I thought was kind of cute. <laughs> Um, so I know she's gonna love this absolutely and it comes with a bunch of little accessories to take care of the baby in addition to that one she's also getting uh, peppermint kindy kids and kindy kids are a toy I guess that came out they've been pretty they're pretty popular now uh, it might be like one of the top Christmas toys but this came out earlier this year um, we learned about them at an event, a YouTube event that we went to. The brand was there and they showed us like all the different kinds. The kids immediately fell in love with them and Gemma was really, really excited about them. So this is the one that comes with like a little ice cream uh, and spoon and basically like how it works is that when you dip the spoon in the ice cream, it comes out and it like changes color. It kind of reminds me of toys that I used to have as a kid where like the bottle would have milk but it would like look like the baby was drinking it it would drain when you fed them um so gem is also getting this so she's going to be so excited to have two babies this christmas something that we aren't going to include in this video because it really would take forever but in addition to some toys um, and we always do books which i'm going to show you guys right now uh in addition to toys and books we also always get the kids shoes clothes stuff for school like anything that they need like that is typically rolled into Christmas as well um, but I am not going to include clothes and shoes and accessories and stuff like that in this video because yeah it would be a very very long video if I did that but this is some of the books that we are getting for Gemma for Christmas this one is a colors book and this one is a look and find she loves look and find books um, which are a little bit advanced um, I think normally for a two-year-old but because she's used these before with her big sisters, she she just, I don't know, like I said, she's very advanced. When you're the baby of five and you have like, even like teenagers, sisters and stuff, like she just does everything faster. So I think that this is definitely gonna be appropriate for her. And it's Lion King, which is amazing. She loves Lion King. Some of the smaller things that she is getting are some animal bath toys and also a Tangle Pets brush which I think Jeff found. It has a Ross sticker on it. It was $4.99. So she's going to love this because she loves brushing her hair. And how cute is it that it's like a little animal on like a kind of like a wet brush. Um, I think it's perfect for her. So these are some little small toys that she's getting. She's also getting a little Polly Pocket because her sisters are getting some Polly Pocket things and she always wants to be included. We don't really worry about her um, choking or eating things she's been, always been really good about that she doesn't put things in her mouth that she's not supposed to so typically I don't think this is a toy that a typical two or three year old would play with but for some reason she is good with it so we're just gonna go with it and she's gonna get one so that she can play along with her big sisters since she loves taking care of babies and animals she is also going to be getting a scruffaluffs 
which is a little like animal. You have to wash it and like brush it and stuff and it gets all fluffy. We're also going to be ordering her this animal um, care kit off of Amazon. Um, if I can find a picture of it, I will put it up here so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, she, I know is gonna love it because like I said, babies and animals have been her jam lately. So something else that we always do for our kids is we like to get them one or two age appropriate games. And Gemma's games this year are Candyland and Hot Potato. And I think both of these she's gonna have so much fun with and um, playing with us playing with her sisters. I'm really excited for her to open them. Last couple things, you guys might know this already if you watch our vlog, but our kids are obsessed with Barbie. And not just Gemma, but Gemma, Gretchen, Gwen, even Grace Lynn still love to play with Barbies. So Gemma is going to be getting a fireman Barbie, firewoman Barbie uh, this year for her dream house, and I know she's gonna love it. Uh, the last two things that we are gifting her is a three pack of balls for the backyard so that she can have some balls that are a little bit smaller and maybe age appropriate for her when she's playing outside. We live in California, so the weather is sunny pretty much year round and it doesn't get that cold, so she'll be able to use these all the time. The last thing that we're gifting Gemma is this eight book set from Costco with the interactive activity pad. We always read to Gemma before she goes to bed at night and I just feel like this is a great gift for her because it will help her learn her colors and numbers while we're doing that. So moving on to our next kiddo. Gretchen is six years old and she is in first grade. She is very advanced for her age. She can read at a much higher grade level and she has been obsessed with play sets and surprise toys and like all those kind of things. I think it's like she's at that perfect age level where they're just like super into that. So you're going to see that a lot of her presents kind of go along with that theme. So one of her big presents is actually this LOL surprise giant thing. I know that these are difficult to find sometimes, but I want to say I found this at Target a couple weeks ago at my local Target. And this is specifically on her gift list, her wish list, so I know she's going to love it. So just like Gemma, Gretchen has been absolutely obsessed with Barbie lately. So she's going to be getting this Barbie set with the horse, and I know she's going to absolutely love it. There's also some accessories that we got. She's going to be getting some clothes for her Barbie. Um, I don't know about you guys, but when I was a kid and I played with Barbies, I loved getting extra accessories to be able to change their outfits and shoes and handbags and all that stuff. So anytime I see them on sale, I always try to buy them for the girls. So together, this is going to be one of her bigger gifts as well. I'm going to find a box big enough to put both of them in. I'm sure she's going to love it. Gretchen's books this year are going to be the top 100 facts about the United States of America, Dinosaur Hunter, and this is actually like an interactive um, book. They can build like a diorama. Jeff's going to do this with her and Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Something that I was so excited that came back this year was Polly Pockets. I totally had Polly Pockets when I was a little girl and they were my absolute favorite, them and Barbie. So Gretchen is actually going to be getting a ton of Polly Pocket things. And this is actually the Mega Mall for Polly Pockets, which I think is one of the bigger play sets that they make. Uh, they also make this is the arcade. She's going to be getting the arcade. I'm trying to like angle it so it doesn't have the glare. And she's going to be getting the ice cream truck. And also the party time surprise little compact, which is great for like a car toy to travel. So all of these together, she can like make her own little village with them. The games that we're getting for Gretchen are plumber pants, which is kind of goofy. I think Jeff picked this out. To kind of be silly i don't even know exactly what this game entails except that it has water so we'll see how that goes and she's getting the hackin packin alpaca game which seems super fun and actually was kind of torn because i almost wanted to give this to gwen but then we found a different game for her that was a little bit geared towards older kids so we ended up going with gretchen but i think that they are actually going to have a blast playing together so Gretchen is also getting a kindy kid. She is getting Donatina with the little cereal bowl and spoon where it like feeds the baby cereal and it magically disappears. Uh, this one I felt like she would love because she loves pink 
and this one is all pink and has pink hair and I just thought it would be a good fit for her. Last couple things, she's going to be getting this Little Gleamers pet toy. I'm not even exactly sure what this is. Jeff bought it for her. She said she wanted it. Um, it talks. I have a rainbow tail and I'm not afraid to use it. Okay. So it says like a thousand phrases or a thousand reactions to discover. Um, she'll, I think, have fun with it. She obviously knew all about it. She told Jeff she wanted it. So I don't know. This is, that's all I know about this one. And the last two things that I bought for her that kind of fit in with that theme of surprise toys and unboxing stuff because she just loves that is we're getting her some of these pop-ups pets. Which if you guys haven't seen, I think this is a new toy as well. Uh, basically, it's like a little capsule filled with slime and they pop it and then in some of them there's little collectibles. Uh, they can get kind of messy, so if you get these for your kids, you're definitely going to want to have them do it on a table that can't stain. Uh, <laughs> but ours is glass covered, so she's fine there um, and I know she's going to love these. And then this was a thing I found at Target and she totally loves these. They are the real little, so it's real branded, like um, like miniature Pringles and Pop Tarts and stuff. And they actually use a lot of the stuff when they're playing in their um, doll houses or with their Barbies or other toys. And this actually was only two dollars and forty eight cents. This was a Target sale find, um, and she, I just know, is gonna flip when she sees this because. We got her some last year for Christmas, and it was one of her favorite gifts. So moving on to Gwyneth. Gwyneth is our nine-year-old, and she has been loving this year, especially anything that she can do with her hands, like something she can build, anything that's arts and crafts, anything that um, just that's artistic, like anything in that way. Like that's been things that she's been really into. So you're gonna see that theme with all the gifts that we got for her. Her biggest gift that she is getting is actually a guitar. Um, this is a pink, here I'll do it so you can see the color. This is a pink acoustic guitar. She is really stoked um, to start learning how to play. She asked for a guitar uh, a couple months ago. She does play ukulele already. She received a ukulele last year for Christmas. So I'm all for our kids being as musical as possible. So I thought that this would be a great like little starter guitar for her. Um, and we're gonna look into getting her some like official lessons as well. So this is one of her largest gifts this year. Something that Gwyneth absolutely loves is Legos. Um, every year for her birthday and Christmas, she always asks for Legos. And we do own, we have so many, but she, um, likes to you know she likes to free build and free play but she really likes when there's a new kit that comes out that she can make like something that she's never made before so this year for christmas we actually got her two different kits and i got these for a great price at target during one of their toy sales um so this one is lego friends and it's a 460 piece set and then this one oh it's also lego friends <laughs> And it's 563 pieces, so these should keep her busy for quite some time. Um, she has loved Legos for probably like the last four years. And I just, I love that she loves building things with her hands. So we are definitely going to do everything we can to encourage that. Some craft kits that we got her to keep her busy are uh, this bracelet twist from Crazy Art. And this just looked like a really fun thing maybe she could do when she has friends over. It looks like it makes uh, 15 different twisted bracelets. And I'm sure there's like refills and stuff you can get for this kit as well. And these kits, you uh, can get them online like on Amazon or at Target or Walmart. Um, they're fairly inexpensive and they're always a big hit. At least I found that with my girls. So I feel like this is going to be great for her. Um, this one and the other one I got her both are labeled as 8 plus. So I do feel like even Gretchen at six could probably do this, but I do. I think that that's kind of pretty appropriate um, for it to be for like kind of eight to 10 year olds. So she's getting this bracelet one. And the other one that she's getting from the same line is actually a create your own perfume uh, set. So it's called Sweet Scents. And this one is actually one that I bought at the same toy sale. So it has a yellow sale tag on it. And this was less than $5. That's such a good deal. And this is going to be a really fun afternoon for her. It says you get to make your own um, scent spritzes with sweet scents. So 
looks like something she's gonna love. In addition to that, uh, I did get her also some Lord DIY jewelry kits. And I wanna say that these are available at like Michael's or Joann's or something. I can't remember exactly which store I got them from. You could probably also get them online. Lord DIY is a YouTuber as well. And this is like just a special line of little kits that she came out with. I wanna say last year they came out. Um, but I got three different ones that make all different jewelry pieces and Gwyneth, you guys know if you watch the vlog, loves wearing jewelry, loves being fancy. So I thought that between this and the twisty bracelets, it'll keep her busy and stylish for quite some time. Gwyneth also loves Barbies, just like her little sisters. So this year for Christmas, she is getting this Barbie travel set. Here, there you go. Sorry with the glare. Um, she's getting a Barbie travel set. And she's also getting some accessories as well, just like Gretchen is. Uh, this is a little bit sportier of a theme, uh, but Jeff and I thought that these two products went really well together and they'll go great. Um, the girls recently got the Barbie airplane, which I want to say is like part of the top toy. It's on the Amazon toy list this year. Um, they love playing with it. They played with it every day since we've got it. So they're going to love using these with that um, to play. Okay, couple more craft kits. <laughs> we got her a loop and loom. I used to do this when I was a kid. You make like those little pot holder things. This I wanna say was less than $5. She's getting, I think she's gonna have a few more things to unwrap just because of the fact that some of the stuff that we're getting her was fairly inexpensive. So this is gonna be a great project for her. I'm sure she's gonna have the best time. It makes five pot holders. And then we also got her some Beatos. Beatos have been a product that pretty much all of our girls have been super into at one time or another. Gracelyn, I feel like, has just grown out of it and she's 11. Um, but Gwyneth, I feel like, is just really, really starting to get into it. So I think this is going to be a phenomenal gift for her. Gwyneth's books this year are actually a adult coloring book because she is super artistic. She loves stuff like this, keeps her busy. Um, I got her some fine tip scented markers. Uh, I'm ordering them or I ordered them off of Amazon. They're just not here yet. Um, so that and this will be boxed together. And it basically is just, it's a pretty thick book. Um, it's just all like adult coloring pages. And she loves doing stuff like that that's super detailed. So this is gonna be a great thing for her. And also we like taking stuff like this when we travel. This is a great car activity. Gretchen's other book is actually a book about the presidents of the United States of America. And Jeff found this, I wanna say at Barnes and Noble. Um, he just thought it was pretty cool. It had like fun facts. Gwyneth's class was learning. They did a segment on um, presidents and different states and everything. And so he thought that this would just be kind of a great book for her if she wanted to kind of expand on that in a fun way. So this is kind of, yeah, just for that. And Jeff picked it out. So props to him for finding some educational books. Something else that he had a really big hand in was picking out the games for the older kids this year. This is a game that I am very not familiar with. So if you guys have played this before, let me know down in the comments below. This is called Untold Adventures Await. And it's from the people that made Story Cubes, which if you don't know, Story Cubes is a really cool kind of like just word starter. It's like a, um, a starter word, how do I wanna say it? It's like you have these cubes with different words and then you use it to help build stories. So I think that this is gonna be something that kind of is like that as well. And Jeff said that it's rated like, I guess, amazing. And it's for kids that are like nine and 10 um, and above. So this is gonna be her game this year. And then the other thing that we're getting her, which is actually a STEM toy, is this National Geographic Super Slime and Putty Lab. So it meets a bunch of criteria for us. It's educational, it's hands-on, so we know she's gonna love it. And what kid these days doesn't like love slime? And speaking of slime, that is the last thing that we're giving her, same, some of the same um, little kits that we're giving Gretchen. These are the Pop-Ups Pets, um, like I mentioned before. 
They are little slime filled capsule things and they have collectibles inside. All right guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me talk about what I got my kids for Christmas. I hope it helped to give you some gift giving ideas or wish list ideas and make sure to go check out my friend Micah's channel and her video about what she got her kids for Christmas. I know you guys are gonna love it. I'm gonna link it down in the description box below. Super excited that we were able to collab together on this and I hope you guys have a very awesome holiday season. Good luck to everybody entering the giveaway for the $500 Amazon gift card. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.